Nobody is intentionally trying to build relationships. It's just fake, very shallow uh, conversations that don't amount to anything. If we restructure the way we build relationships, if we restructure the way we connect with individuals, then these networking events can actually become a wealth of uh, opportunity. And uh, as you guys know, I've got this, um, this larger emphasis on having deeper connected conversations with people and able to do that now at scale uh, when we go places is just connecting with like so many people because when you come to an event like this like meltdown in the desert that you're going to see tons of footage of over the next uh, couple of days um, when you're surrounded by like-minded people you realize that those conversations are a whole lot more easily accessible um, because everyone's kind of on the same wavelength this guy ted phaeton incredible guy here in greenville he had sent me a DM on Instagram and it just said, hey man, love the stuff you're doing, would love to connect sometime. So I said, yeah, I would love to, let's, let's meet up. When he walked into the office from the moment that I shook his hand for the very first time, very first time we'd ever spoken, not in that one DM on Instagram, it was the very first time we met in person, there was no shallow, just small talk. We sat down and we went deep. And by going deep, I mean we went into the conversations on topics that actually matter. And because of that, it turned into a three and a half hour long conversation, which is crazy. But at the very least, it we came out of it with both having a greater understanding of what the other person was trying to doing, uh, trying to do, and we built a great relationship in that one encounter that would normally take a year to develop. So. How does that happen? It happens by being intentional with the relationships that you're building. I'm at that point too. So like that idea of just having everybody, and like you said, like this being your leisure. Yeah. I'm at that point now where it's like, what do you want to do with your life? I want to share these conversations. Mm -hmm. Like every conversation that I've had lately that's, that's gotten super deep, it was by me first sharing something vulnerable and then it let them open up a little bit and, and share something to theirs. Then it's kind of back and forth. But until I shared that, that conversation wouldn't have gone in that direction. You know what I mean? Um, and there's this concept I keep talking about lately. I can't stop talking about it. It's the idea that you can drown in three inches of water. And that's where 99% of people live. It's where all the social media lives, basically. That's where everybody else lives. There's three inches of water. Nobody's ever going deep with one another. It's just this small talk, BS and they part their separate ways. And so my goal now is just to go as deep as I can with people. Um, like when you walked into the office, you know, you walked in, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? We sat down and all of a sudden just went deep, like immediately. Men historically do not have the um, ability, but do not have the outlet to have these types of conversations with other men. Right. Uh, and I think that's, it's, that's become a huge passion of mine um is is trying to create that environment and so with all my social media stuff transparency vulnerability like that's the main core focus 